Hello, hi everyone. My name is Mr. Darotondwa and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to do a coding using a sub procedure. PCP, Principle of Computer Programming, Level 3 of Tivet College. Here is an interface that we are having. Now you double click on your interface. Now, on the global or public class form, that's where you do the declaration of your variables because they have to appear in the entire form, unlike on your public function. Here, you declare on a global where it can appear in the entire form. And where do you do that? You do that on a public class form one. Now, this is what you do on public class form one. You say dim. Now we are having int length according to the interface that I have designed for you. I will show you again. Now int length, comma, int width as integer now another thing you need to declare now is those two variables we have declared they are for input now we are going to declare for the output now the output we are saying dim deck area and then also we will display deck perimeter s decimal now you are done declaring on a global now on the public function you remember you come here under and sub you click enter and then you go down to create your public function now here we are not creating a public function we are creating a public sub now you say public sub there we go it appeared public sub now let's name our public sub called area different between public function and 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 uh, public sub or sub procedure is that here you do not by val or by ref any value you leave it as it is whereas that side you put in between why do why is it that in this we don't put any value here. It's because we have declared our variable here and here it is global. So it is already found in every part of this programming form. Okay. Once you declare it here, you will find it everywhere. But if you declare it here, it can only be found only here. So now under your public sub, you come. You said, um, how are we going to calculate this one? How, how do we do this? Let's come up with a, with a formula. What, what kind of formula can we do? Let's say deck area. Okay. How about we said int length multiplied by int with yeah like it's nice right okay you come under end sub you click enter now another thing you need to know is the difference between uh, sub procedure and public function is that public function always return values now sub procedure does not return any value because you might be asking why am i not returning it does not return any value all right you good and now just do as i do and also to our online viewers our youtube viewers and also our facebook viewers if you have any question leave it there on the section if you are watching on our youtube and you are a new and you you did not know that we have a facebook page our facebook page is a real technology deal go and check it out if you have any suggestion you can put there also on our YouTube, you can put it there, then we will do the video.
for you. Now let's come to our second one, which is the perimeter. Um, oh, uh, we have to declare first. We have to create first public sub, public sub, and then this public sub we're gonna call it calc perimeter. Perimeter. And then underneath we say deck perimeter. In the formula for perimeter, uh, um, you guys help me with the formulas. Come on, what formula can we formulate? Um, uh, let's say inch length multiplied by two. In between plus inch width multiplied by two. Now okay, we have to close here and also come and close here. You have any questions so far? It's still sorted. Okay, no. Okay, pick up and finish as fast as you can. Now you come back to your form under calc button calculate you double click and then you no longer declare any variable as you do on your public function why it is because you have declared the bug the variables here on your global area and whatever you declare on a global appears everywhere this is what i like about subway and now you go straight to uh what do we call it what do we call it assigning yes you go to assigning the variables now let's assign now the first box that we are using is of length right length dot x comma int length yes okay and then the second one what do we say integer dot tripers into the second one is what txt with dot text comma inch inch width yes now we are done with assigning now what we're coming to it's 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 yeah, we have already done also processing this is one thing i like about it we only call the function and when we call the function we call what we have Processed okay. Now, our function it is called calc area, isn't it? Then you just put like that, yes. And then our second one is calc perimeter, and then you put bracket like that. Simple as this you have called your yes. Now, let's do the assigning txt area dot text equals to the deck deck area um deck area dot two thing and then txt the other one is what is it our perimeter dot text equals to deck deck perimeter deck perimeter that's two three okay now once you are here you're done now you display they will build errors Oh, okay. Let's go back to our form and let's check if we have any errors down here. We have. Oh, here. Here, here, here. Here. What were what we, we supposed to write here? Deck. Permit. Oh, you guys are allowing me to do mistakes. Deck. Permit. Equals. Let's, let's. I think we're good to go. Bug. Okay, it's debugging. 
Okay. Now, here it is debugged. Now let's put our length. Length is 15, and our width maybe is 30. And then we can calculate perimeter returned zero. Okay. Gonna change the values. Perimeter still returns zero. Let's stop debugging and see what could be the mistake with our perimeter. Perimeter. Okay. Let's put the close bracket here. All right. Let's back again. Ooh, coding is so nice. Eh? So we build errors. Okay. Where? Okay, here. Mm hmm. Okay, let's check it properly. We opened and opened this one. Hey, Jesus. Okay, how did I in here? Okay, hey, all right. Now, now, let me check to see again. Double those ten. Plus. Okay, let's debug and see. Bugging, it is debugged. Let's put 15. Let's put 30. Let's put calculate. Here we go. It worked. This is how you do your sub procedure. Different between sub procedure and public function is that public function you declare your variables where you are creating your public function now with sub procedure your variables you declare them on a global up here and whatever you declare on a global will appear everywhere now with public function you will have to come again and on also declare your variables under the button but with sub procedure you don't declare anymore well, they are already on a global. Another thing with public function, you have to return values. But with sub procedure, you don't return values. As you can see here, no values are returned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to our YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe so that when we put more videos, you will be notified. And the previous video that we did was all out. Um, about public function as this one is a sub procedure and then the coming one it's going to be uh what should we do about oh yes yes i did say that i have to walk you through arrays yes it's going to be one dimension array and then after that it's going to be two dimension array before we go to text file and uh, a stream writer and stream read. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. My name is Mzedaro Tondra. Thank you. God bless you. You'll have a blessed evening. We have come to the end of our session. Da.